guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, grocery hauls, recipes, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week with a good old fashioned ham dinner. Howard made this ham um, and it looks and actually tastes really good. So that's what we have here. We have some ham, it was bone in ham and I made some green beans and I used the skin from the ham to season the green beans. And then I made my shortcut macaroni and cheese and I will make sure to link the video um, where I shared the recipe in the description box. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having some Chinese food. I went and picked some up after work. Never tried this place before, um, but it looked pretty good on Yelp. So we have some combination fried rice, and it has steak, chicken, and shrimp. So there it is. And then I got two veggie egg rolls, and it comes with some sauce there, which I probably won't eat. I'm not a big sauce person. And then I got two containers of hot and sour soup, one for me, one for Howard and that's what it looks like. And then it comes with these crunchy noodles, which I love and have to eat every time I have hot and sour soup. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are still eating the ham that Howard made, and um, <clears throat> we're just having breakfast for dinner today. So we've got the ham, and then we've got some jumbo biscuits flaky ones from Kroger and here is what we're having I actually did not realize that they were honey butter I'm not a big honey butter person but um, hopefully they don't taste too sweet so we're having those biscuits and then I made my savory scrambled eggs if you've been watching our channel for a while you know that I use french fried onions cheddar cheese um, in my scrambled eggs so you can see some of the french fried onions in there. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I just wanna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. This is the um, shrimp scampi kit from the Food Network. And we have tried one of these kits before, not this flavor, I think it was Szechuan chicken and we did not care for it at all. But this is what we're having tonight. Let me show you what comes in the little kit. It comes with linguine and um, let me flip over the box so I can show you. This is what comes in there. So it comes with um, the linguine, garlic and herb seasoning, Parmesan cheese, and dried onions, as you can see right there. The other stuff is in these packages, so you can't really see, but here's the dried onions. And then what I need to add to it are uncooked medium shrimp, butter, um, parsley is optional, and lemon. So I had to modify this recipe because I actually already have cooked shrimp that I needed to use. It was in my refrigerator. We had an event to go to this past um, weekend, but we had really bad weather, so the event was canceled and I needed to use this shrimp. So I am using cooked shrimp and I am going to skip out on the lemon because Howard's not big on lemon in savory food. So I'm gonna skip out on that. And then it comes with this um, prep card and it gives you step-by-step -step on what you'll need to do. So I am going to start prepping this and I will show you the finished product. So here is a finished product. It was really simple to make, very quick. Um, I will say that I did find it to be a little bit bland. Now, I did not add in the lemon juice, as I mentioned, or the parsley. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but after I prepared it, I felt like it needed a little bit of doctoring up. So I added in some chopped garlic, and then I also added in some garlic salt and a little bit more butter. So here it is and um, it's okay. I don't think, let me show you the picture again. I don't think that I would buy it again. I think I would just make my own shrimp scampi. And then we are having it with garlic bread and we've, um, I've shown this before. 
and it is the Tom Thumb variety, the garlic toast, five cheese, hearth or hearth? I don't know, Howard says I say it wrong, but anyway, I think it's hearth, baked bread, and it's really, really good. I would definitely buy this again. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Pepperidge Farm five cheese. I think I like this better. The slices are really, really thick, and there's tons of cheese as you can see, and it was cheaper than the Pepperidge Farm. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I just wanna show you what I am having for dinner tonight. I am flying solo. Howard is at a um, church conference, and so he's eating there, and I had some errands to run after work and I decided to stop by Market Street, which is a grocery store here. And um, I used to eat there all the time. They have a really good hot bar. So let me show you what I'm having. I am having their rotisserie chicken. Now, originally I had asked for um, two chicken thighs. That is my preference for pieces. But the guy put the first chicken thigh on my plate and it was so, tiny. It was like the size of a chicken nugget. I'm not exaggerating. And normally I just take whatever I get because I don't complain. But I said, um, I was like, that's a little small, isn't it? And he went to look for some more and he couldn't find any more. So instead I'm having two um, drumsticks. And you can't really tell on camera, but these are tiny too. They're very small. Um, and then I'm also having some of their macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and you get to pick a bread, which is a roll or cornbread. I didn't feel like having any bread tonight. I have enough carbs on my plate. So this is what I'm having for dinner tonight and see you guys next time.